So today we are looking at something a little bit different. We are going to be using a slow cooker or a crock pot to make a butternut squash coconut chili. And instead of a book, today we turn to a website called The Fig Tree, which specializes in vegetarian cuisine. Going vegan for me. Crock pots are great for parties or those with families or people who just don't like to cook often because you can double or triple the amount you use and freeze up the extra batches for later. For this recipe you will need the following. One small onion, peeled and finely chopped. Two stalks of celery, chopped. Two carrots, peeled and chopped. Two medium apples, peeled and diced. Two cups of peeled and diced butternut squash. Four cloves of garlic, peeled and finely minced, or one teaspoon of garlic powder. One medium can of black beans, drained and rinsed. One medium can of chickpeas, drained and rinsed. One can 400 milliliters of low-fat coconut milk. 2 teaspoons of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of ground cumin, 1 teaspoon of dried oregano, or oregano if you're Canadian, 2 cups of vegetable broth, 2 tablespoons of tomato paste or tomato paste, salt and pepper to taste, shredded and sweetened garlic for garnish, and if you can find it, chopped fresh cilantro, parsley or chives for garnish. I was looking for uh, cilantro and I couldn't find any so that's not going to be in this. Place all the ingredients except the garnishes in a slow cooker. Cook on high heat for four to six hours, or on low for eight hours. During the last hour, taste the chili and season with salt and pepper. Add more chili as desired. Add a pinch of cayenne pepper if you like the chili on the spicy side. In the last 45 minutes of cooking, open the lid to allow the chili to thicken. If the chili looks a bit dry, add more vegetable broth. Also, at this time, you can think about what you would like to have with the chili, like some rice or a baked potato. We decided upon brown rice, which we cooked in our rice cooker. Then, when everything looks great and cooked to perfection, just plate and serve. Mm. I think you might have to uh, make yourself a different supper, because I'm going to eat the whole thing. Out of ten? I'd say eight and a half. Woo! Thanks for watching guys, please remember to subscribe to see future videos and feel free to check out our past week's videos as well.